G'day, it's Robbie again. A little while back I did a couple of videos. One was uh, a review of an endoscope. This one here. That's part of it. Here's the rest of it. And uh, yeah, it's a good unit. And I also showed in another video how you can use it for indexing gears or indexing anything really. And uh, that was that. Anyway, time went by and Better work as being uh, an imaginative lot. I got contacted by uh, a guy, one of my viewers, and he said, uh, how would you go using one of these in, uh, for close-up work on a lathe? You know, if your eyesight's not good, how would it go? And I said, well, I don't know, I've never tried it. I mean, for close-up work, I use trusty old monster magnifying glass that uh, I just put on my... Uh, I've got a mount on the end and it just goes on my uh, mag base. And that, yeah, isn't too bad. Just uh, put it between you and the job and away you go. So I thought, yeah, well, you know, how would one of these things go um, in, the, in place of magnifying glass? Use it the same way, but use a, uh, a monitor, a laptop, and uh, do all your re referencing on the, on the laptop. So in this very, very short video, I'm going to stick a bit of uh, rubbishy old steel in the chuck tools and I'm going to machine it without looking at the job at all. I'll just be looking at the laptop screen and we'll see how hard it is to do that, how much lag there is in the video and how light... Um, affects the job. Basically I'll just use a uh, a normal overhead light that I use on the lathe and I mean you have got a light function built into these things but it wouldn't be powerful enough I don't think to have much effect. Given the distance you'd want to keep this away from the job. We don't want crap going all over it and uh, you don't want it getting in the way. So okay I'm machine up some rubbish and we'll see how it uh, how it all goes. So here's a bit of rubbish that I've machined. It's my finger, index finger, you can see how big it is. It's a standard TCMT cutter, small cutter, carbide indexable cutter. And now we'll just move on and have a look at the rig. So there's the rig, it's just basically my mag base with the uh, amount I made up for the uh, endoscope uh, in it. 
and I'm just uh, probably a good five inches away from the work, I suppose. I could get back further, or I could get in closer. With these endoscopes, you always want one that has got a, a focusing um, capability. A lot of the cheaper ones don't have it, because um, you have to be able to focus at whatever distance you set the endoscope. And the ones without a focus, you have to get right down here, close to the job, which isn't really suitable. Um, so yeah, you have to be able to stand back from the work. And of course, you'd really want the monitor set up on the headstock. I don't have uh, room for that on mine. And uh, in this case, just for the test, I just had the laptop sitting down here on the toolbox. And even using that, like that, I was able to control the lathe, as you saw in the videos, no problem. Just looking at the screen and not even looking at the lathe, just uh, turning the hand wheel behind my... <laughs> my back basically so yeah you wouldn't do that normally but yeah pretty simple it does work there's no lag um, it's uh, yeah if you've got bad eyesight it could be good if you could get a say a 720p version this is only a VGA endoscope but the images aren't bad for VGA considering but a 720p version which is HD high definition it could be, um, yeah, the way to go. Okay, well that's it from me. Um, until next time, see you later. Cheers.